Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to piece together solar cells that you can buy like on eBay, which is what I did for these. These are already tabbed, so you can see the two tabbing wires that come off from the cell, but they are only tabbed in the front and not in the back. So I'm going to show you how to tab those and the end result will be something like that where you can see there's a row of cells I'm making a panel that is four feet wide and as a consequence I need to have a row of eight cells attached to another row of five cells so to begin with Normally you should put your cells on some board to keep it so it doesn't stick to the table or stick to whatever you're working on. As you can see this is my working table so it's pretty messy. So you take a solder, soldering iron, and you make a thin strip of solder on the tip of the cell. Now I ran out of tabbing wire which is this real flat wire and got in place of it some regular brass wire. Now this is a lot cheaper than a tabbing wire and it seems to work pretty good. It conducts electricity and everything. It's a brass wire that's 28 gauge. It's really thin. It doesn't get hot very quick when you solder it. So basically I take this strip of brass wire I solder it to the end of the solder cell, just like so. And voila. Now for the back, you need to put little dabs of solder so that you can piece them all together. So there, I got one dab on each of the white areas. And so, when you have that, then the cell is basically complete. Except, of course, you put another one of the brass wires down there. And so, I take one of my other completed cells. I lay it right next to it so that the two strips are on top of it. And then basically I just solder them together. I find if there's a little bit of trouble with the solder that it doesn't want to cover the wire, if I tap like twice, it seems to cover the wire pretty good and it sticks. So you do that for the top and for the bottom. And you just follow the suit along until you have a whole row. So basically there's one saw. And you have to make sure when you're doing this that you get the polarity correct all along. So like here I have one cell that's on the top, there's tabbing wire on the top, but it doesn't connect to the second cell, instead the bottom of that cell connects to the top of this cell, so that's basically the positive is on the bottom and negative is on the top, so the negative is attached to the positive, and then it goes like that all along. Basically, I just think of you have the top, and then you got the bottom on the other side, and the bottom top attaches to the top, bottom to the top, and so along. If you do that backwards, then the one cell will negate the next cell, and basically won't have as much voltage as you need. And as you can tell, there's quite a few cells out of there. 